Why hello, thank you so much for joining me today. Kendall Hailstone here. Today's video is about me feeling passionate about soil life and regenerative agriculture. And honestly, what it really boils down to is healing the earth and reforestation. I mean, that's what the that's what nature wants to do. It, it wants to create forests. I mean, if you just let it do its thing, it will create forests. And so, you know, obviously there's a, you know, different landscapes, you know, based on the, the ecosystem as a whole, you know, including, uh, you know, herds and whatnot. So obviously if there are herds of animals, there won't be as much forest, but you know, that my, my point is that's its natural tendency is to create forests, nature's natural tendency. And so, but before we get too far into it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Click that subscribe button and away we go. So yesterday I was watching a documentary with my kids partially, it's called Kiss the Ground. And it was amazing, it's on Netflix. I highly recommend you check it out. I'd say it's a must see. I mean, if you've, if you've already seen it, great. And if not, go ahead and go check it out. It is, oh, for me, it was very moving. Uh, it just kind of reinvigorated this passion I have for permaculture and regenerative agriculture as a whole. And I'm just feeling very, very fired up about it. <laughs> um, I definitely had a lot of emotions that came up in the, you know, while I was watching it, but definitely a huge overriding amount of positive emotion that I was experiencing. Uh, for multiple occasions, I was actually crying during during the film, and I remember my daughter at one point was asking me. She's like, "Dad, you know why you're crying?" I was, and I answered, "I was, I, I didn't really know. I didn't really know exactly like the reason why. I knew it, it was like happy tears, and that I, I guess that came to my awareness when she asked me. You know, oh, are, are they happy tears? And I was like, "Yes, they are definitely happy tears." But I, I couldn't really uh, pinpoint what I was specifically happy about that I was crying. You know, about what this overwhelm of emotion was. But yeah, there was, it was just, I have so much hope now, so much more hope for the healing of the earth and being able to actually see a drastic change in my lifetime. You know, I, I've been wanting to really see some massive changes happen, but I guess I didn't really see them being able to happen in my lifetime. But now I just be based on some of the, the, the massive changes that were, or featured in the film, I, I can see how in 20, 30, 40 years, we can really turn things around. We can really, really turn things around. I feel like a big part of it has to do with education, just awareness of this being possible, what the different options are. And so I'm super excited to be doing my part to be educating people. And you know, obviously I need to get more knowledgeable about it myself, but you know, I'm just feeling so fired up about learning more and becoming you know, an expert in this, in this realm of regeneration, regenerative agriculture, permaculture, and so soil science and soil life, the soil food web and soil biology, you know, all that. Oh, I'm so excited about it. You know, the soil is the foundation where everything grows. And you know, if the soil's healthy, we are going to be healthy. And if the soil's sick, we are going to be sick. And it's, it all starts in the soil. It starts with the microorganisms, the foundation, you know, of, of our life essentially too. And so, Part of the reason why I wanted to share this video is not only because I'm just excited about it and this is what I'm really passionate about and I want to share it with you, but there is a, a, a sense of vulnerability for, for me sharing this because I don't know if you've ever heard this that, you know, a true friend, you can not only share your struggles and your challenges with, but you can also share your triumphs and your victories with. And, you know, for me, I find that sometimes when I, I I'm excited about something, you know, I'm just kind of like a, a bubble of energy and I come to somebody w with that energy, sometimes I get kind of like brushed off, which is like, whatever, it is what it is. Obviously they're going through their thing, but for me, it always, it always feels nice to have someone be excited, you know, with me or for me or whatever, just to share that excitement with somebody, you know, cause that's partially why I'm, why I'm bringing this, why I'm sharing this excitement with them is so that I can experience it with them, you know? And it's not like a, you know, it's not mandatory, obviously, but that that it just feels good for me, anyways. And maybe you can relate with that too. And so this is just me sharing this with you and wanting to connect with more people who are passionate about the same thing, of wanting to heal the earth, who are wanting to regenerate the soil. And something that was featured in the the film Kiss the Ground is just the the impact the glyphosate has had on our soils and the whole monoculturing and the tilling and everything and it's just i'm sure you maybe are partially aware and if not please check out this film and it, it will enlighten you 
about just the, the massive damage that we've done to the soil and essentially it is a lot of our, our soil is dead. And it's you, you need the soil to be alive in order to grow healthy plants. And so there is actually a almost 3,000 acre property, I think in Battle Creek, Michigan, that I am like really looking at. It's I think about $15 million. And I'm just trying to develop this mindset that, you know, I can, I can acquire that. I can acquire that property because what I want to do is that I want to transform that property from, you know, whatever, I, th I think it's like, you know, it's been farmed with, you know, modern monoculture. I'm sure the, the soil is, is in dire conditions. And so I wanted to kind of come into those types of farms and those environments and I want to regenerate the soil. I want to bring it back to life. You know, it's one thing to buy a piece of property where the, the, the you know, forest and the land and soil is already healthy. And I love the idea of, of conserving that, that nature. But for me, I feel like I feel more drawn towards regenerating, you know, regenerating the soil because that's, I feel like ultimately what we need to do, you know, not only stop cutting down our forests and, you know, stop doing the things that are causing the damage, but also repairing the damage, you know, helping accelerate the, the reparation of the damage I feel like is critically, critically important and that's what I want to do. I want to be connecting with other people that are wanting to do that as well. So if that resonates with you, please leave a comment and let me know, message me or whatever and just get a hold of me. Get a hold of me somehow and let me know that that's something you're passionate about too and hopefully if it works out if in, in the stars or in life or whatever, it works out where we're able to, to team up, I would love to get to, uh, you know team up with other people who are really passionate about this too and I know there are massive amounts of people who, who are already doing this and I love that I love it so much and I think part of you know I want to get connected with those people too and so I'm just, I mean I'm just in the beginning process now of reaching out uh, to other people about this topic regenerative agriculture about acquiring land acquiring farms that are sick and in dire conditions to help bring it back to health bring it back to life and so that's something I'm extremely, extremely passionate about right now. I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to share this, uh, this vulnerable excitement that I'm experiencing right now, which like, you know, it's okay if you're not excited about it too. No problem at all. But if you are, leave a comment down below and let me know, let me know. All right, I think that is pretty much it for today's video. I would love to, uh, to you know, get your feedback. If you have any ideas of maybe what to do with this uh, 3000 acre property, you know, I have a lot of ideas myself. You know festivals workshops seminars you know farm tours obviously you know growing the food and selling it having like restaurants bed and breakfast you know all i mean there's so so many different ideas and i'm ultimately i believe you know an, uh, an entrepreneur you know down deep in my heart and so there are so many different avenues of creating businesses and that's something really i really want to uh, utilize is creating businesses on these you know farms and utilizing business to bring the, the soil back to life and, the, and the, the land back to life and I don't have all those details figured out yet but anyways yeah get a hold of me if that's something that resonates with you and hopefully we can uh, come to some uh, solutions together and I'm still you know hashing things out right now but anyways thank you so much hope you have a beautiful rest of your day beautiful rest of your life and I will see you next time hope you have a good one peace